today. Today we're doing lesson plan number five, grade seven, term two. Um, our topic is add common fractions with the same and different denominators. It links to DBE workbook worksheet 33. I'm just quickly going to show you that. I'm going back. Here's your caps link. Again, we do a lot of revising of grade six work. Um, we picked up in the field that in, in general grade seven struggling with the basic concept of fractions. And so they struggle with calculations of fractions later on. So um, here's the dictionary. I want you to pause here. Um, the learners don't need to know this definition of fractions because they're not working with variables yet. But what's very important is from here, from common fractions, um, there are three um, simple steps to add fractions. Um, these, go through them, ask them to read, especially this one, where we have three um, simple steps to add fractions, and pause it and ask them to explain it to you. Um, then look at step number three, the simplifying of fractions. Um, that's just to revise the previous lessons. Let's then go to the mental mathematics. Um, the mental mathematics for today is you're going to pause here and what they're going to do is they're going to ask, answer it orally or you're going to write it down um, and it's time to pause. Welcome back. I'm going to reveal the answers. So you got the answers, pause here and then you're going to write you're going to mark the answers. Okay, let's go then to the fractions. So we're going to use fractions, and um, studies show that if learners are doing fractions on number lines, their understanding is much better. So I'm first going to start where the denominators are the same, and most of the learners, they don't struggle with this part of the concept because you simply add one quarter and two quarters. So showing it on the number line, again, is the number line from zero to here, we got one, one whole. Remember, four quarters is the same as one whole. So we got one. So we got one pizza here um, or one chocolate. Um, so if we eat one quarter of the chocolate and then we eat two quarters of the chocolate, we ate three quarters in total. So if the denominators are the same, um, we can add it. Uh, so let's quickly look at th this example. And with this example, um, I'm using equivalent fractions to make it easy. So first, what I did is um, I see quarters is where we divide one thing into four pieces. And then one half is where we have one whole divided equally to, into two pieces. So on the, the number line, I've got one number line, remember, oh, 0 to 1. So 4 quarters is 1 and 2 halves is 1. So this is 1, again, let's refer to a chocolate. So this is 1 chocolate. So what happens is um, I ate 1 half of the chocolate. That's the same as 2 quarters. And then I ate another quarter of the chocolate. And the answer is three quarters. So where the denominators are multiples of each other. So it means um, four can divide it by two. So or two, four, um, six, eight. Um, we look at the multiples. Um, then in a, they are multiples of each other. This method is very nice to use. So let's look here then at one thirds and one sixes. So three and six, they're still multiples of each other. Um, and they did these in previous grades. So what I did is firstly to divide my um, number line into sixes. So I divided into sixes. So six sixes is one, three thirds is one. So let's go to the example of the chocolate again. So here I divided into sixes and here I divided into thirds. So what happens? I ate one third of the chocolate and then one sixth. How many chocolate did I eat? So now you can see I had three sixes. But you can also simplify that. And by simplifying, I can just use my number line at the top to see Three sixes equals to a half. 
How do I also know it? I can divide the top number by 3 and the bottom number by 3 and I will get 1 half. Okay, let's look at the next example. So the next example, what we have is we have quarters and one eighth. The four and the eight, the denominators, they are multiples of each other. So what we did is divide the number li line into eights and divide it into quarters. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to say again, let's take the example of the one chocolate. So what we did is we ate one quarter of the chocolate and then one eighth of the chocolate. How much of the chocolate did we eat? Three eighths. I want you now to pause here and then explain it to an adult by using a real life object. You don't only have to use a, a chocolate. You can use a pizza. Um, and then you explain these three examples again. So in example three, we're going to add um, fractions with the same denominator, but we know that the answer is going to be more than one. So our answer is going to be a mixed number. Um, so what we do is, um, I usually do is I just draw a bigger a, a number line that represents two. So here we have, it represents one and it represents two. Um, if the answer is going to be more than that, you can always just extend it. So what we have is um, we're working with thirds. So my number line is divided into thirds. Here we've got, again, three thirds. That's one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to say one third plus four thirds is what? It's one and two thirds. So maybe... Uh, my mom bought some pizza. Um, we first, I ate one third before our family started to eat. That's not always very good. And then my family eat another four thirds. So how many pizza did mom buy and how much is left? So this is the type of scenarios that you can create around things where the answer is a mixed number and you use a number line. So I want you to pause and I want you to come up with a similar scenario to explain this and to what's on the number line. So example number four is where we're going to add two mixed numbers. Now again, is with the mixed numbers, uh, we got a, We need to add a one and a one year. So, and we see we're working with quarters. So I'm going to, already I have one and I have another one. And um, you can or you don't have to divide it into quarters. But from there on, um, from two to three, because you know the answer is going to be um, bigger than two, what you're going to do is you divide that into quarters then. And then we're going to say we, we add that one and the next one, and we're going to add then that quarter and another quarter. So we have then two and three quarters. So again, is we can have a scenario of the pizza by saying, um, my mom bought pizzas. Um, we had one and a quarter pizza and then one and two quarters pizzas. How many pizzas did Mom buy? How much is left? Um, you can also do it then like the second example um, where we know that the answer is going to be bigger than two. So we can draw a one quarter line. And then what we can do is we can add one by knowing that we need to add four quarters to that. And then what we can do is we can add the rest the two quarters and you will see we come to the same answer. So I want you to pause here and I want you to use a scenario and then explain first this number line and then this number line.
Well done. So now we go to third number line. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at your first number line, the second and the third. And I want you to compare these number lines. And at the end, you must say to yourself, which number line is the easiest for you to use? Pause it. It's time now for your worksheet. So you can do the DBE worksheets or you can do the SA teacher worksheets. And um, remember, if you need some support, go back to your examples. Um, and if you need more paper, add more paper to do all of your workings. And then um, you have your problem solving. So go and solve the problem. Um, you've got your extra activities, your MISA examples, um, where these questions are coming from old exam or test papers. Then lastly, we're going to do the consolidation. If all the answers are yes, you carry on with the next lesson. If you have some no's, um, you need to revisit, revise certain questions, or you need to ask SA teacher support.